of the black market today. Oh, where we putting this in the adult section. <laughs> this one goes in the adult section. We have all kind of people on the black market. We be having all kind of ladies who be doing like fitness and yoga and stretching, but like the adult version. We be having them massage ladies come through here. We even had a sex expert come through here. So you know, it ain't a black market unless you got some stuff that you can sell to the grown folks, to the adults. So today, today, not today, but the day. Today is the day. You know, I don't usually even be smoking on the black market. Uh-uh, you take that shit outside. Got to smoke. But today, uh-uh, man, we got, my, we got a very special guest who bought me something. Who bought me something. Not brought me, he bought me something too here. First of all, before I even get into all this, I got to do this. Hey, you the, bell. the bell has to be rung. The bell has to be rung so all the people with money can know that the black market is open. GQ, first of all, welcome to the black market, aka the trap, because we're using the same pavilions. The black market is the trap too. We'd say like in the daytime, we turn the trap to a black market with all legit business. Exactly. Then we get to trap it at night. So what's up, man? Welcome to the spot. I appreciate you having me. And now, uh, these are great uh, partying gifts that you brought for me. Oh, uh, you know, a little extravagant vibes. You snuck them up here. I didn't even know. And I was like, is it Christmas? <laughs> what you brought? What you, first of all, tell them what you do, first of all. Well, basically, I'm curator for Zimbro's Farm. Hold on, a what? Curator for Zimbro's okay. Farm. All right, man. Okay. Yeah. I was just on here telling folks how they got to start, you know, you got to flex your title. Mm -hmm. You're a curator. Yeah, yeah. So it's a little in detail, so that's just the easiest way to say it. Okay. But and the most, you just going to leave them right there? I mean... Get to the good part, man. Tell them. The tell them what, to, what you curating, though. The easiest way to explain it is I'm like the lead point of contact for everything. Like, I'm marketing and branding for Zembro's Farms. I'm also marketing and branding for Mansa Cannabis. I'm like with an umbrella of a couple of companies. Did you say cannabis? Yeah. That's what I was waiting on you to say. <laughs> so how did you get in the cannabis industry? Well, long story short, I've been in the cannabis industry like technically all my life just smoking and being curious about weed. Right. In the process of doing that, I started meeting a lot of like rappers in Daytona Beach and stuff. Like I was, a friend of mine was rapping. So everybody would come to him trying to get the weed. So in the middle of the night, I'm the only person with exotic weed in that city, so I started meeting like a lot of, you know, public people and influencers and stuff like that. They was hitting you to get weed in the middle of the night? Yeah, like- Don't put I'm nobody on glass. Yeah, I ain't gonna say no names or nothing like that, but over time and doing that and stuff, like I ended up running to a developer through my friend Tyler or whatever, shout out to Tyler Chronicles. Mm -hmm. And we started Boom. chopping it up. And in the process of doing that, he asked me to like make some strands and stuff for him for a bigger operation we had starting in like two years from now. And in the process of doing that, some of them kind of got out with Rick James and then the Dominique Wilkins. And I did a whole lot of red for Enchanting of 1017 for Brick Squad. And like from there, we just got here. Like it started out as technically like pheno hunting and samples and it just kind of blew up into its own brand. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> You know a motherfucker know what they're talking about when they start using words you don't know nothing about. <laughs> you just have to be like, hell yeah. Yeah, you, you try to dumb it down. The easiest way is basically like, it's just like breeding dogs for the most part. You know what I mean? Like if you really like the way this dog looks, you breed it to this one, you know, and so on and so on. For the What's your part. favorite strand right now? Of mine, I would have to say, mm, shit. It's a hard question. Yeah, because I did maybe 50 this year. Damn. So I'll probably say Rick James. Uh, what that Rick James hitting on? That's some crazy shit. Like, it kind of took off because of the same thing. I put it out right around the same time as Whole lot of Red. 
and a lot of people from the influences that they seen with More Than Culture and T.I. ended up like on, um, he was on More Than Culture. We did a show with him and he was talking about the Dominique Wilkins and it kind of like damn near to a degree went viral. So like the blowback from that and stuff, like everything just started really taking off. Dominique Wilkins might be one of my, it's too hard to choose one. So I could probably barely narrow it down to five. Damn. Cause like I'm a little spoiled, you know, like I smoke, smoke. Like you see how y'all smoke. I bring y'all shit. A lot of people don't see. Like if it's in jars and stuff like that, that's a different level. That's why, like I said, we more on the extravagant <laughs> vibes. It's kind of like a one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. Like I don't pretty much give you something that you can get.